Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome to my first uh, review for these new Ninjago uh, Legacy mini movies that are out right now on the official LEGO website. I did a video talking about how you can actually find these and I guess of me breaking the actual news of them. Uh, you can find that on the channel. I posted that not too long ago and now we're getting started with the reviews of each one. So there are six in total I believe as of the time of recording this. Uh, there might be more as more time goes on and if there are more then more reviews will follow, but today we're going to be taking a look at the Weekend Drill, which basically tells the story of the new Ninjago set featuring Cole's Earth Driller and the giant uh, Stone Warrior, of course, as a remake of the original set. Now, from what I can find, this is the very first Ninjago Legacy episode in terms of sequence. Uh, so I figured this would be a good place to start, and it starts off here with a little bit of an expositional monologue thing, talking about uh, how in the new Ninjago Monastery, they're actually making a mural filled with all of the past Ninjago seasons, basically as a reminder to the ninja, uh, you know, uh, and the audience, uh, basically reminding us and them about how far the ninja have come, and of course with the Ninjago Legacy theme, we're sort of just revisiting older Ninjago sets and older Ninjago, I guess, storylines. And I like how they're actually incorporating that into the show properly, of course, with a mural. And we see, of course, this first episode as it is talking about uh, the Earth Driller and whatnot. We get a little bit of that. Of course, within the context of the actual, I guess, little uh, episode itself, I guess Nia rebuilt the Earth Driller for Cole. So I have a feeling maybe that's how they'll tie in all of the legacy sets into the TV show if they are about, say, for example, vehicles, then they'll just have the newly resigned, uh, redesigned vehicle rather uh, introduced back into the show as a sort of just, I guess, a gateway uh, to actually incorporating the sets within the show. So uh, in terms of the Earth Driller, Cole gets it back, which I guess is interesting. I mean, he seems very happy about that in the episode itself. And of course, he gets a disturbance at Cryptarium Prison, which is none other than the gigantic stone warrior, further tying it in with the Ninjago set. Of course, it comes with a gigantic brick-built stone warrior, which is supposed to replicate the one from the show. So this is actually a pretty interesting fight here. Of course, uh, Cole uh, fights to the tune of the folds of the weekend whip. So even further adding to that nostalgia factor, um, which I really do enjoy. And of course, Cole defeats the stone warrior and the prison is mad at him because he ruined the prison with the uh, with the Earth Driller trying to fight the Stone Warrior. We also get a little glimpse in there of Ultraviolet and Killo from the Sons of Gromadon, so they're back for some reason. Uh, but yeah, this uh, mini episode was pretty good overall. Uh, you can tell that you know uh, moving forward with these legacy little shorts, they're definitely going and tackling that nostalgia factor that a lot of people do have for Ninjago, especially with you know the introduction of. Uh, or the reintroduction, rather, of new vehicles and new sets into the mix that sort of uh, recapture that same vibe as the original sets. And also, specifically in this episode, I don't know if they're going to be using the Weekend Whip for all of them, because at the time of recording this, I have not yet seen the rest of the uh, little... Uh, mini movies. I've only watched this one, but I will be watching the rest eventually. So I wonder if they're going to be having the weekend whip or at least some sort of fold song in all of them. That could be interesting. But this one was sort of just again centered on the Cole's Earth Driller set, and it sort of gives us a little idea about what these little legacy short films, I guess, will cover in terms of content. So that'll just about do it for my thoughts on this uh, specific short film here. Of course, we still have many more to talk about, so be sure to stick around if you want to hear me talk about the rest of them. And I hope you enjoyed this video here. And of course, if you did, you can show that by giving the video a huge thumbs up rating. And in addition to that, if you have not hit the subscribe button already, feel free to do just that, especially if you want to see me talk about these new Ninjago uh, special episodes when they come out, or at least, you know, when I get around to reviewing them all. But thanks for watching guys, the comment section is again there for your thoughts regarding this little special, or if you just had a comment of a general nature, that's fine as well. Thanks a lot for watching once again guys, my name is Tanner Fishies, and with that I bid you farewell.